April 1st, 1989, was a typical gray, dreary day in Seattle, Washington. At 7 p.m., a special report interrupted the broadcast of Seattle's local NBC affiliate, King 5. A news announcer solemnly announced that about seven minutes ago at 6.53 p.m., Seattle's most iconic landmark, the Space Needle, had collapsed. The announcer reported the injuries were light, noting that a maintenance men had been sent to Harborview's emergency room. The announcer said the structural damage to buildings around the Space Needle was extensive and the needle itself was beyond repair. Video showed two photos of the collapsed Space Needle. The broadcast then showed an emotional eyewitness account of the collapse of the beloved landmark building. The lack of casualties was attributed to the needle being closed due to a basketball championship. The broadcaster suggested metal fatigue and the construction of a bus tunnel as possible causes for the catastrophic event. The special report then ended and normal programming resumed. Despite the fact that each photo was clearly labeled Space Needle, April 1st, 1989, April Fool's Day, and that the special report was broadcast during a previously scheduled broadcast of a local comedy show, Almost Live, and that the eyewitness was a regular on the show, people all around the region panicked. While many immediately understood that it was a prank, others swamped the city's 911 system. The Space Needle reported receiving over 700 calls. King 5 was inundated with calls, both angry and panicked. People worried about their loved ones visiting or working in the Space Needle and around the Needle. Allegedly, a group of doctors from eastern Washington hit the road to provide humanitarian aid. Needless to say, the Space Needle did not fall down and still stands today. The news announcer was an actor hired especially for this prank. It's important to remember that 1989 was a very different time. This was a time before Photoshop. Those photos looked very believable. This is also a time before we had hundreds of TV stations and few people had cable. King 5 was a respected broadcaster, one of the only five or six stations that most people could receive over the air. It was a time before cell phones. If you wanted to check in on somebody, you couldn't just call them. They had to be at home or at work, or you couldn't talk to them. This was Seattle's very own version of the War of the World scare. And just like that broadcast from Orson Welles so many years ago, all people needed to do to verify this broadcast was to change the station. An event as big as an alien invasion or the Space Needle collapsing would have been news on other stations. John Keister, host of Almost Live, said that the prank had been inspired by hearing reporters say, when leaving for time off, unless the Space Needle falls down, don't call me. John Keister publicly apologized the next week, saying, On April Fool's Day, we broadcast a prank, a phony news report, in which we said the Space Needle had collapsed. Now we've meant this as an April Fool's Day joke. We labeled it as a joke. We thought that people would take it as a joke. Unfortunately, it did not work that way. If you would like to see the video yourself, I have linked to it in the show notes. I have also linked to an absolutely incredible clip from the schlocky disaster NBC miniseries 10.5. This clip has a man using his totally gnarly BMX skills to outrun a falling space needle. I highly recommend it. If you would like to support this uh, podcast and want to help support it, would you please tell a friend about the podcast and mystery? Uh, post something about the show on Twitter or Facebook, or if you uh, have a friend that you know would like the show, uh, maybe send them a text message. Normally, I'd suggest that you tell people about the show um, face-to-face, but I think that might actually be illegal during this pandemic. Thank you for listening. I'm Jason Reagan, and this has been the Podcast of Mystery. If you want to learn more about the show, just go to podcastofmystery.com. Please stay safe out there.